Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install a Windows SP Professional on a VMware Workstation Pro. So here I have a VMware Workstation Pro and I want to install Windows SP on this VMware Workstation. So what you need to do first of all is to go to File and then select New Virtual Machine. So from New, new Virtual Machine Wizard, we need to just click select the typical which is recommended and then click Next. So it says I will, I will install the operating system later. Click Next. And here you can see we have the different option, but I'm going to go for the Windows SP Professional 64 bit so just select that and don't forget to select microsoft windows and then click next so next we want to actually choose the location where we want to actually save our video so i'm going to actually save the video on this location i'm going to actually just create a new folder here and call this windows sp01 so let me just select that and i'm also going to call the virtual machine the windows sp zero one and then click next so here you can see it's giving me about 40 gigabytes because the windows sp doesn't need a lot of space i'm just going to leave that because i'm going to show you why i'm actually leaving this for 40 gigabytes because i need to actually create a new disk so let's just click next and then let's customize our hardware here i can actually put the um processor the memory for like about four gigabytes so that my device can be faster and also then let me just click finish so right now if i click finish if i let me just let me close this and just okay so if i try to install let me just go to the cd drive and actually boot up my iso file so i'm going to use the let me browse to my not my office sp professional but windows sp professional so here i'm going to select the windows sp professional and then click ok so the issue is this if i try to boot this device the installation will fail why because you can see that my hard disk is actually excuse it that is the scsi so and the windows sp does not support that so what we need to do right now is to edit our virtual machine and then i'm going to click add and I'm going to actually add a new hard disk because I'm going to use the IDE because if you use this cozy we say recommended your Windows SP installation will not work so let me just select the IDE and then click next here we're going to actually create a new virtual machine so let me click next so I'm going to actually just assign this about 100 gigabyte and we're also going to split the virtual disk into multiple files so it will only actually take the disk that I'm going to use without consuming a lot of disk on my file so right now i want to i want to actually select where do i want to save the file name i can just call it the window sp01 i'm going to leave that the default and then click next so now let me just say click ok so what we need to do right now is to actually and make sure that if i go back again to my edit virtual machine and I save the drive and make sure that it said connect at power on if not your virtual machine will not boot into your operating system of windows sp so let's try to boot this virtual machine and let's see how it goes you can see it says set up expecting your computer and right now we are now booting into win windows sp professional so to actually install windows sp what we need to do right now is to just to hit the enter button so you can see it says um to accept the license we need to just press the f8 and here we have you can see i, I actually have two partition which i created but right now you can see that i'm only seeing just one partition so it just because of the ede partition i selected that's the one i'm seeing so let me just click enter i want to actually format this partition using the ntfs file system which of course is more quicker so let's just wait for this to get formatted you can see the setup is formatting it will actually goes very fast and the installation process can now start here we go you can see it says setup is copying file so please wait while setup copies file to the windows installation folder this may take several minutes to complete so what i what i'll be doing is the following i'll be actually trying to pause this video so not to make it very very long and when we actually pass this process then i will come back again with to continue the installation process so now you can see it says please wait while setup initialize your windows sp configuration you can see it also says saving configuration so this process is going to take some time i think the installation process can take up to about maybe 30 minutes before your installation gets complete but right now it says it's about to reboot the device and the installation process will continue
think this looks actually very very familiar in the past i think windows sp i've used windows sp for i've not used windows sp for a very very long time that's just i think for the past 12 13 years i've not used windows sp anymore so i'm actually doing this again for after some so after most i think 13 years ago when i was actually still doing my it training here we go you can see now the installation process just continues so it's actually preparing the installation so let's just wait to get to the next phase before we can actually continue so the solution process is actually still going on you can see it says setup will complete in approximately 34 minutes and it says installing devices and here you can see some extra information if you need to find your way around windows sp or troubleshoot a problem then you will appreciate the ease of finding answers in the content rich new world of help and support center so uh, the installation which uh, uh, we are probably to take some 33 now 33 minutes but mind you you need to actually do some configuration during the installation process so just like i said we need to do some configuration here you can see it says we need to actually configure our regional and language option so here we need to actually just click on customize you can see it says select an item to match the preference so here we can actually say um first of all my location is actually belgium so i need to just let me just scroll up and then select belgium that's my location and here it says select an item to match the preference to click customize so here we can actually just leave this for english but i need to actually select the language let me go to details and here you can see we have our keyboard says it's united states but let me go and just select dutch here let me select the dutch belgium okay to just be changed and let me go back again to details and here we need to actually make sure that the keyboard we need to add a different keyboard entirely so i need to actually go for the belgium let me just go for the dutch belgium and period i'm going to actually select that and here we have the united states keyboard let me try to remove that and just click apply okay we could windows could not remove the english because it's currently in use so we're going to actually just leave that and for the advanced let me just use the advanced click the advanced and see i think that is okay and then well, let's go to the regional and then we can down just click apply and then okay so now we can now just let me just click details to see what we have here yeah okay that's the same thing so let's just click next and my organization name i want to enter kelvin and then click next and for the product key if you if you want you can enter the product key right now but i'm going i'm going to skip this for now and so do you want to enter your product key i'm going to say no you can see it can actually take me to next but i want to actually just also change the pc name to let me just call this window sp and then enter zero one and you can actually enter an administrator password but i'm going to leave that blank for now or let me just enter the password and then change again let me make sure that the keyboard format is correct okay it's correct and then let me just click next and here it says well, now we need to actually select our time zone so that's the wrong time zone actually that was selected for me so let me just go for brussels and automatically adjust clock for daylight and save changes so let me click next and installation process will continue you can see it says installing network so it's going to actually install, try to install the network card and some other um, configuration that need to be applied will be installed and configured so here we go to continue the installation process let's just here on the display settings click ok so window adjusted your screen resolution if you can read the test click ok so let's just wait please wait while the installation gets complete here we go you can see here we says welcome to microsoft windows so let's just click next to continue with a beautiful background music so help protect my pc by turn, by turning on automatic update now so let's just click next so now you have been asked to enter your name for example i can enter let me just enter the name kelvin but we can also enter a second user third user and a fourth user i'm just going to just select just the first user and then click next and here we can now condition you are ready to go so let's just click finish to actually complete the installation process so it's trying to actually sign me onto my windows 
SP Professional. Here we go. Here you can hear the sound of the Windows SP. So, but right now you can see that the resolution is actually not very optimal for my virtual machine. So I need to actually install the VMware. I still need to install the VMware tools on this um, Windows SP operating system. Here we go. You can see that now I've installed the Windows SP professional and what i want to do right now is the following so i want to actually install the vmware tools on this device so let me just try and see if i can install the vmware tools so this is actually a long long time ago i used the windows sp professional so let's just see if we can okay the vmware tool is actually preparing to get installed since antivirus software may not be installed on this device so we can actually still install the antivirus um, on this device, but you naturally need to check which antivirus software is actually compatible, still compatible with Windows SP Professional because you know most applications are being updated all the time, so there are actually some a lot of applications may not be um, compatible with Windows SP as you may know, and I believe that not um, a lot of people are still using Windows SP at this moment, probably some companies, but let's just try and install the uh, Windows. Um, the VMware tools to see if our resolution it can help increase the resolution of our screen so let me just wait for this okay click next it's typical and then i'm going to install it here we go you can see right now the vmware tools is still actually installing and my resolution has just change and if i just minimize this you can see that now i can go to my desktop here let me just go to let me go to the control panel and let me go to control panel so here you can see the control panel is actually very very different than that of windows 11 and windows 10. so i think if you are actually new to a window we can actually switch to the classical view of windows of the control panel here you can actually see everything you need to 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 do for example we have the printers we have our internet options in connections automatic uh, updates um, other remove um, programs so here you can see we have all our original um, language so the vmware tools have just been installed i think i will need to actually restart this device to complete the installation thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video this is how you actually install a windows sp on a virtual machine and also you can actually install it on a win on a laptop or a desktop definitely because your device but the only problem you will have because you know at this moment there are no microsoft does not push update anymore to windows sp devices so which means that installing your sp you'll be vulnerable to um to threat to hackers and also to malware and to viruses so i will always advise you to always upgrade your device reinstall your device with the latest operating system like windows 10 or if you cannot even if your device is not compatible with windows 10 we still have windows 8.1 which of course you may still be receiving updates on that thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it videos bye